For the fire safe and gas and watertight sealing of pipe and cable conduits that are accessible only from one side, a combination of slip sill and dynatite sealing plugs are used. Make sure the front side of the conduit sleeve is rounded off to avoid damaging of the plugs during installation. Of course, you can also use special CSD conduit sleeves. First, the inner side of the conduit, as well as the surface of the pipe, should be lubricated thoroughly with CSD lubricant along a distance that approximately corresponds with the length of the slip sill dynatite combination. Due to the depth, a brush can be used to do this. Next, both parts of the dynatite plug are lubricated on the inner side, including the connecting surfaces, as well as on the outer surface and the serration. Always use sufficient lubricant. This eases the installation significantly and thus enables optimum sealing. Both segments of the dynatite plug are placed around the ducted pipe and then pushed into the conduit by hand as far as the first serration. The first serration is smaller than the other serrations to allow positioning the plug into the conduit. Both halves are then pushed evenly, serration after serration, further into the conduit. This can be done by hand or by using a hammer and a piece of wood. Don't hammer directly on the plug to avoid damage to the sealing plug. The flange of the dynatite plug differs from that on the slip sill plug and fits into the conduit. The dynatite plug is pushed in until the front side of the conduit. Next, the dynatite plug is pushed completely into the conduit with a piece of wood that guarantees that the plug is pushed in a little less than the length of the slip sill plug. Then both parts of the slip sill plug are lubricated thoroughly on the inner and outer side, including the connecting surfaces. Both segments of the plug are placed around the ducted pipe. The plug is then pushed evenly, serration after serration, further into the conduit using a hammer and a piece of wood. When installing the second plug, the air between the slip sill and dynatite plugs will be compressed. Therefore, it has to be released from time to time by inserting a small lubricated screwdriver between both plug halves. Otherwise, it won't be possible to insert the slip sill plug completely into the conduit sleeve. Make sure the plug isn't damaged, as this can influence the water tightness. When the installation is completed, the flanged edge of the sealing plug must be flush against the front side of the conduit. The lubricated screwdriver is inserted once more between plug halves to release the last bit of compressed air. Any spare lubricant can be removed using a dry cloth.